Hello Stamper! Welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to share with you an old technique but with new stamp. Um, it's called Mother of Pearl, and I'm using the very vintage. This is a hostess set, but don't let the, the word host uh, fool you that you have to host a party. Any order of 150 and above, you can have this for free. I'm going to have the video um, at the end on how to place order and get the rewards. So if you are interested, I'm going to have all that information there. Any order of 150 and above before tax and shipping, you can choose free product from the hostess section. Okay, let's get started. So I stamp the flower with Versamark. And the reason why I stamp it in advance, not Versamark, back up the bus, it stays on. So you want to use stays on for this technique. And then let it dry a little bit and then I just use markers to add color. You want, the reason why I say let it dry a little bit, it's because uh, stays on dry super, super fast, but it's um, still kind of sticky. So you want to make sure that it's completely dry. If not, it's going to get black on your marker. If that's the case, just use a scrap paper and wipe it. But you see, I just went and color. So the those flowers are in Daphnel Delight and Flirty Flamingo. And I use a little bit of crumb cake at my stem. And you see it smear off a bit. I mean, I went off the line. That's no biggie. Now we're going to take this. And we're going to use Sarah Sand for this. And it's from the same set. It's the kind of the doily. I stamp off once and stamp, stamp. I'm just adding like vintage. Stamp off, stamp, stamp. I go right on top of this. Stamp off, stamp, stamp. Uh, twice there. So I'm just going to cover that, that it's kind of lacy, like old fashioned. Okay. Now, we're going to use the shimmer paint. And I'm using the frosted white. Shake this very good. You hear it's a little barrel, a barrel bearing in this, a little ball. And that is the reason for that. You want to make sure it's shake very well. I'm using, this is just a clear uh, envelope. You can use like, uh, I don't know, something that it won't stick like a um, clear envelope or great or a paper bag. I use two drops, really one drop would be plenty, and this is just saran wrap, plastic wrap like food safe. Just crunch this and tap in your paint. You don't want too much, but you want enough. And then tap, tap, tap on this. Tap, tap, tap. And I don't know how much you can see on the camera. I'm going to bring this closer here in a minute. It's so pretty, so, so pretty. And yes, that's going to, um, the color won't be as vibrant. That is normal because now we're putting paint on top of this. Okay, you could, I want a little bit more here. You could leave it plain like this. This one, I'm going to leave it plain like that. I'm just going to finish the card after we're off air, just mount it. And I'm going to share it also. But right now, I would have to let that dry. And I'm going to mount this like on crumb cake. And I'm going to add ribbon at it and my, my sentiment. But I have to let that dry before I can do anything else. So with the magic of the camera, boom. Now I got a sponge that we're going to use that with crumb cake. And we're going to make it even more vintage. So this one is dry. Let me see if you can see. Oh, yeah, you can see that very well. See all that marbleize? That's what it's called, the mother of pearl. So I'm going to use a crumb cake and put that a little bit more vintage. So I'm going to go ar around here. So like I said, this is optional, but um, you have to let dry the paint. You're going to ask me how long it takes to dry. It don't take long at, at all. Well, not at all. Maybe five minutes, whatever. A little bit too long for the camera, really. 
Um, can I eat said that? I don't know. I never eat said it. I just leave it aside, work on something else, and then come back. And now I'm going to use so saffron. Another color that's some. Uh, it's nice to um, see this. I go very lightly. I barely touch my paper. Another color that it's very lovely for vintage like that. It is petal paint or brushing a uh, bright. Let me take a, another sponge here. And I'm going to add just a little bit. But usually when I do the yellow, I just leave it in the yellow. And if I do the pink, I just do the pink. But I'm going to add a little bit of both um, today. Oh, you know what? That looked very good. Very much so. Okay, now what I would do, or what I'm going to do, not what I would do, it's take a rag, or you can take a soft paper towel, and you're going to wipe this. See the magic happen? All where I had ink on the shimmer paint, it's gone, but it stay in the background. See how vintage this looks? Maybe I'm going to have better look on the camera, um, take a picture. So now that it's done, now we can have a sentiment. And for the sentiment, I'm going to put um, Dear Friend here, and I'm going to put some of the bee on the flower too. And again, that need to be with a versum, uh, I keep on saying versum art, dang, uh, with um, stays on. And the reason, it's because um, you see the ink don't absorb on the shimmer paint, but stays, um, stays on, it's very permanent. So I'm going to add one B right here. And you know what, let me put that here. And I'm going to add one more B over here. And just partial here. Here we go. So we get the bee done. You can, we're going to wait a little bit before coloring though. And then we're going to use the dear friend. Very, very um, cute little sentiment. Very delicate. And I think delicate go perfect with uh, this. Okay, we're going to put, I want to make sure I'm okay. And I'm going to put that at the top here. Et voila. Okay, we're going to wait a little bit and I'm going to add some yellow in the bee. But first, um, let's do. Um, oh, dang. Didn't. Uh, I just going to put it flat then. Oh, you know what? Maybe I get enough for a bow. Let's see if I get enough for a fake bow. One. Just wrap around your finger. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, perfect toe. Uh, let's do, um, turn this upside down. And we're going to add this. I want it just right there at the edge there like it's holding a bouquet. Okay, one thing do I want to, oh, I need my... Uh, Hmm. I need my uh, silicone mat. Here it is. And the reason why, see the ribbon, one it's go one way and one go the other way. You want to make sure you twist this here. So they're both going in the same direction. That's why I need my mat so I can work with it here. Okay, that is good. Squeeze this in the back. And I always like to add a little bit more adhesive. This one we're going to mount that on a saw suede. That's the dog. <laughs> He's having a puppy dream. Here we go, and I just cut that there. Now to make sure this stays flat, you know that it's not moving well that's pretty secure but what I like to do when I do a bow like that I like to take a glue dot 
and put it right in the back so then I know it's secure. Now I got very vanilla here. We're going to mount that on very vanilla. Put that right here. Oh, how pretty. And then I'm going to use uh, again that uh, lace doily here. And I'm just going to put that inside here. So now I get placed right a note to my dear friend. Now what I was saying, you can use, um, okay, this is daffodil, and I can use in the body. Remember, where it's the shimmer, it won't absorb, but the rest will. And my paint's still a little bit tacky, not much though. And that was the one I did before the video. So I just do the body, nothing else. I'm not doing the wing, because really... Here we go. So this is it, my friend, on how to do the Mother of Pearl. Hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, this is not a new technique. It's an old technique, but with new stamp set. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Oh, one more thing. To get all the supplies, look below in the description. I get the direct link for this or above in the eye. And also, it's going to be a video at the end to share with you how you can get the hostess set without hosting a party. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.